we wanted to get the community at large to begin talking about the problem of heterosexism, which is simply the assumption that's prevalent in much of society that being straight is preferable and superior to being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. Um, that belief system that permeates not only the media, but literature and music and much in our culture leads to an assumption that makes it okay to discriminate against our community and to preach from the pulpit words that are damaging and hurtful. Uh, perhaps the most dramatic and dangerous and toxic outcome of heterosexism is the notion that people can and should change their sexual orientation and be straight. And I could tell you many stories from my clinical practice, but we have a number of wonderful speakers here who can tell you firsthand. Hi, my name is Daniel Gonzalez, and I'm a former patient of Dr. Joseph Nicolosi. Uh, Dr. Nicolosi is the founder and past president of NARTH, that's the National Association for the Research and Therapy of Homosexuality. Um, when, I was eight, when I was 18, I desperately wanted not to be gay because I believed that, uh, that homosexuality was inferior to heterosexuality in virtually every aspect of my life. In regards to my faith, I, believed that being, I falsely believed that being gay was incompatible with my Christian faith. Socially, I believed that being gay uh, equated with a life of misery. And in regards to relationships, I believed my former therapist at NARTH when he said that same-sex relationships were counterfeit and disordered. <clears throat> in ex-gay therapy, I was taught there are no homosexuals, only heterosexuals such as myself who were afflicted with same-sex attraction. <clears throat> this pesky same-sex attraction was something to be controlled and overcome through ex-gay therapy, and I believed that doing so was fulfilling God's plan for what was best in my life. Uh, the therapy, the reparative therapy itself, the premise is that your own sense of masculinity is somehow broken. And in the therapy, when you have an attraction for another guy, you're supposed to take it and examine it and twist it and figure out what, it, what fault in yourself that represents, and then examine it some more. And if it sounds like a complicated way of, of repression, that's exactly what it is. It's convincing yourself that your same-sex attractions are something other than what they really are. <clears throat> um, the reason I bought into this, it, it's the same as with any con. When you invest a great deal of time, money, energy, your life, your hopes in this, you're going to believe that it worked. And I actually, when I was in therapy with a NARTH therapist, I actually reached the point where I believed, I convinced myself that I was changing my sexual orientation. But ultimately, I came to the realization that it was just a con, that I'd only convinced myself of my change. And when I came to that realization, it created a crisis of faith. Because growing up in a Baptist church, I'd always been taught that I had to accept all of the Bible literally or none of it at all. So when I found that what my church and the Bible had taught me about my sexuality was false, I couldn't just remove that one part of my faith in order to move on and get on with my life and come out of the closet, I had to discard all of my faith. Also, uh, my parents' insurance didn't cover therapy with my NARF therapist, so all that many thousands of dollars came out of pocket. And uh, ultimately, three years of my life, because I spent 18 months in therapy, and it was another 18 months before I was ready to come out and identify as gay. <coughs> um, sorry. Uh, let me just talk about the anti-heterosexism conference and why I'm here. Since ex-gay survivors are so few and far between, unique gatherings like this really give us a chance to share, examine, and process through our experiences, surrounded by other people like myself who truly understand what we've been through. Uh, but the anti-heterosexism anti conference is about more. It's a chance for survivors like me to help allies like you and educate the public about ex-gay harm. <clears throat> 